Hello students, today we are going to solve the problems of exercise 4.3 of NCRT textbook of mathematics class 10 from question number 6 to question number 11 okay because already we have uh, solved from 1 to 5 in the last video so that's why today I am going to show you from question number 6 to the end that is the last question 11 okay so here you see question number 6 the diagonal of a rectangular field diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meters more than the shorter side okay 60 meter more than the shorter side and if the longer side is 30 meter more than the shorter side okay find the sides of the field okay suppose we have a rectangular field this is a rectangular field okay so let me take a rectangular shape field here this is rectangular field so it's given that its diagonal is 60 meter more than its shorter side so let us suppose the shorter side be x meter so diagonal must be 60 plus x or x plus 60 meter okay and its longer side that means its length is its length is what 30 meter more than its shorter side that means x plus 30 okay meter okay now you see as it is a rectangle so its opposite sides are equal this must be x meter and this must be 90 degree okay now you see this is a right angle triangle okay so this is a right angle triangle now so here it is x plus 60 and this is x plus 30 and here it is x now we will apply here pythagoras theorem okay so let me show you how to solve this okay so this is the solution of question number six okay here i have considered the shorter side the shorter side is x meter and so the diagonal is 60 meter more that's why x plus 60 and the longer side is 30 meter more so x plus 30 so here you see it is it, it must be a right angle triangle as it is a rectangular shaped field so it is 90 degree okay so now applying pythagoras theorem that is hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square we have got this relation okay now simplifying it we have got a quadratic equation that is x square minus 60 minus 2700 equal to 0 okay so here you see uh, first as we have obtained the equation quadratic equation now from here in order to solve this you can apply any method completing e square method uh, factorization method or uh, you can also apply the quadratic formula okay so instead of applying quadratic formula i have applied here factorization method splitting the middle term okay and these are the two factors i have got here that's why x minus 90 is equal to 0 or x plus 30 is equal to 0 okay now you see if x minus 90 is equal to 0 then x must be 90 if x is equal sorry x plus 30 is equal to 0 then x must be equal to 30 which is uh, sorry x must be equal to minus 30 so which is not acceptable because length of rectangle can be uh, side of a rectangle cannot be negative okay so now you see you see here we have got the length of shorter side that is 90 and the longer side is 30 meter more so x plus 30 that is equal to 90 plus 30 that is equal to 120 so longer side is 120 meter and shorter side is 90 meter okay that's how we can solve this so this is the solution hope you have understood this okay let me clean the page okay now you can note this yeah let us solve question number seven the difference of squares of two numbers is 180 and square of the smaller number is eight times the larger number okay so let us suppose the larger number be x okay let us consider the larger number be x so it's square that means square of the larger number square of the larger number will be x square according to the question it is given that square of the smaller number smaller number is what 8 times the larger number larger number was x okay and difference between these two difference between square of the two numbers is 180 so 180 is the difference so how to find the difference square of the larger number minus 
square of the smaller number that is x square minus 8x okay so this implies x square minus 8x minus 180 now solving this equation i can find the answers okay that means we can find the numbers these two numbers okay so here you see so i have assumed here that x is the larger number and square of the larger number is x square and it is given that square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number so we have to write here 8x okay so square of the smaller number is 8x that means 8 times the larger number larger number is x so 8x is the square of the smaller number as the square of the smaller number is 8x so the smaller number must be equal to plus minus root over 8x okay so according to the question difference between the squares of the two numbers is 180 okay and 80 is brought to this side sorry 180 is brought to this side and we have got this quadratic equation that there must be equal to zero okay so solving this equation i have used here factorization method in order to solve this solving this equation i have got here x is equal to 18 x is equal to minus 10 now you see for x is equal to minus 10 okay the value of root over plus minus uh, sorry plus minus root 8x is equal to plus minus root minus 80 which is not a real number okay this doesn't belongs to doesn't belong to r that means it no, it is not a real number so we cannot take is x is equal to minus 10 that's why acceptable value of the x is 18 and for x is equal to 18 value of plus minus root over 8x is plus minus 12 so the larger number is 18 and the smaller number is either plus 12 or minus 12 so this is our solution okay larger number is 18 and the smaller number is either 12 or minus 12 okay so let's move on to next so now let us solve question number eight a train travels 360 kilometer at a uniform speed if the speed had been five kilometer per hour more it would have taken it would have taken one hour less for the same journey okay so now you see let us consider the speed of the train b x kilometer per hour okay and distance traveled by the train is given that is 360 kilometer okay 360 kilometer okay speed b x kilometer per hour okay now you see we know that time is equal to distance by speed distance by speed okay so what will be the time taken by the train to cover 360 kilometer with the speed of x kilometer per hour that is equal to 360 by x hours this is the time taken by the train to cover 360 ki 360 kilometer distance with the speed of x kilometer per hour okay so according to the question if the speed had 5 kilometer per hour more that means x plus 5 kilometer per hour then the time taken by the train that is 360 by x plus 5 is one hour less okay this is one hour less okay so this is the distance 360 kilometer per hour if the train travels this uh, same distance 360 kilometer with the speed of x kilometer uh, x plus 5 kilometer per hour then the time taken by the train is given by 360 by x plus 5 okay and according to the question this time 360 by x plus 5 is one hour less than 360 by x hours okay so we will get a relation now that is what 360 by x minus 360 by x plus 5 must be equal to must be equal to 1 okay this is the time taken by the train when the train is traveling with the speed of x kilometer per hour and this is the time taken by the train when the train is traveling with the speed of x plus 5 kilometer per hour that is now speed is 5 kilometer per hour more and traveling the same distance okay so this uh, difference between these two times is one hour okay that's why if you subtract this from here 
you will get 1 okay now let us simplify this relation okay in order to get a quadratic equation so that's how we can do so this is the speed of the train we have considered x kilometer per hour and the distance travel is given 360 kilometer okay so when the train is traveling with the speed of x kilometer per hour then distance is uh, sorry uh, time is given by 360 that is the distance by the speed x okay and when train travels with the speed of x kilometer uh, sorry x plus 5 kilometer per hour it takes 360 by x plus 5 hours and difference between them according to the question is one hour okay so now let us take lcm then we will get this okay now simplifying it we will get a quadratic equation that is what x square plus 5x minus 1800 equal to 0 so now we have got a quadratic equation now let us solve this so i have applied here splitting the middle term you can apply other method also so splitting the middle term applying that means factorization i, I have applied here factorization method so applying factorization method i have got x is equal to minus 45 speed cannot be negative so minus 45 is not acceptable so acceptable value is x is equal to 40 so speed of the train is 40 kilometer per hour okay that's how you can solve the question number 8 so this is the solution of question number 8 okay let's move on to next question now let us solve question number 9 okay two water taps together can fill the tank in 9 and 3 by 8 hours the tap of larger diameter takes 10 hours less than the smaller one to fill the tank separately okay to fill the tank separately the larger diameter tape of larger diameter takes 10 hours less than the smaller okay and together they can fill the tank in 9 and 8 by 3 hours okay let us consider let us consider time taken by the smaller tap be x hours okay suppose smaller tap takes x hours and larger tape takes what larger tape takes 10 hours less than the smaller tape so i have considered here larger tape uh, takes x minus 10 hours okay to fill the tank separately so now you see in one hour they will fill so in one hour the smaller tape can fill one by x part of the tank and the larger tank can sorry the larger tape can fill x minus 10 part of the tank okay so the together the smaller and the larger tape together they can fill in one hour one by x plus one by x minus 10 part of the tank okay so in one hour they can fill this part of the tank and in order to fill the complete one tank they takes nine and 3 by 8 hours okay and from this relation we can find the time taken by the two taps to fill the tank separately okay so let me show you how to solve this okay this is the 9 solution 9 okay so I have considered here the tap of smaller diameter takes is x hours and tap of larger diameter takes x minus 10 hours okay so in one hour tape of smaller diameter can fill one by x part of the tank and the larger diameter tape of larger diameter can fill one by x minus 10 part of the tank okay so according to the question we have got this relation okay so in one hour smaller tape fill one by x part of the tank and larger tape fills one by x minus 10 part of the uh, tank and together they can fill one by x plus 1 by x minus 10 part of the tank and so in order to fill one complete tank okay in order to fill one complete tank they takes 9 and 3 by 8 hours so 9 and 3 by 8 hours into 1 by x plus 1 by x minus 10 gives 1 okay so simplifying this we have got a quadratic equation that is what 4x square first we have got 8x minus 230x 8x square minus 230x plus 750 this is the quadratic equation we have got what is the equation 8x square minus 230x plus 750 and dividing both side by 2 we have got 
फोर एक्स स्कुआर माइनास हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन एक्स प्लस थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू जिरो सो सीम्प्लीफाइंग दिस इक्वेशन यू कैन अबटेन दिस क्वेडाटिक इक्वेशन ओके नाउ लेट आस सोल्व दिस बै फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड और यू कैन एप्लाई आदार मेथड अल्सो सो हियर यू सी उइ हेव गट आइडार एक्स माइनास ट्वेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू जिरो और फोर एक्स माइनास फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू जिरो हुई सीम्प्लाइज हियर यू सी इफ एक्स माइनास ट्वेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू जिरो सो एक्स उल भी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑन द आदार हेन्ड इफ ए फोर एक्स माइनास फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू जिरो देन उइ उल गेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू उइ उल गेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू दिस वन यू कैन सी एक्स इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन बै फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन बै फोर इफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन बै फोर देन एक्स माइनास टेन उल भी माइनास ट्वेंटी फाइव बै फोर ओके सो टाइम के नट मी डिंग ए डिफ सो डेट्स वाई दिस इज नट एक्सेप्टेबल एज फोर फोर दिस वैल्यू अफ एक्स उइ हेव गट एक्स माइनास टेन इज निगेटिव वाई उइ आर टेकिंग एज एक्स माइनास टेन बिकज द टाइम टेकन बै द लार्जार टेप टू फिल द टैंक इज एक्स माइनास टेन सो डेट्स वाई उइ नीड टू फाइंड एक्स माइनास टेन which is negative for this value of x so this value is not acceptable so we can take only x is equal to minus x is equal to 25 because for this value x minus 10 is positive that is 15 so time taken by the smaller tape is 25 hours to fill the tank and uh, time taken by the larger tape to fill the tank separately is 15 hours okay that's how we can solve this uh, question number 9 so let me clear this space so that you can note it okay so this is the solution now let us solve question number 10 an express train takes 1 hour less a, than a passenger train to travel 132 km distance okay to travel 132 km distance an express train takes 1 hour less than a passenger train okay so and one more thing is given that is speed of the express train is 11 km per hour more than that of the passenger train okay that of the passenger train so if the speed of the passenger train speed of the passenger train speed of the passenger train suppose x km per hour then speed of the speed of the Express train should be x plus 11 kilometer per hour. This should be the speed of the express train. Okay, 11 kil x plus 11 kilometer per hour because it is given in the question that speed of the express train is 11 kilometer per hour more than that of passenger train. Okay, and both travel a distance of what 132 kilometer. Okay, so we know that time is equal to time is equal to distance by speed distance by speed okay distance by speed so you see time taken by the passenger train with this speed to cover 132 dis 132 km distance is given by what 132 that is distance by speed of the passenger train x hours okay and time taken by the express train okay to cover the same distance 132 with the speed x plus 11 km per hour because the speed of the express train is x plus 11 okay this is the time taken by the express train hours okay as the express train takes 1 hours less so if you subtract this two then you will get 1 okay from this relation we can find the value of x and x plus 11 so let me show you now this is the solution okay so we have consider speed of the passenger train be x km per hour okay and express train is x plus 11 km per hour okay and distance travel is 132 and i have already explained you how to obtain this relation from the given information of the question and simplifying this we have got this quadratic equation that is what x square plus 11 minus 14520 okay 1452 equal to 0 okay so this is the quadratic equation solving which we can find the answer okay so i have solved this one again by factorization method 
so here we have got x is equal to minus 44 or 33 so minus negative value cannot be uh, taken because it is speed isn't it so x is equal to 33 so x plus 11 must be equal to 44 33 plus 11 is 44 so speed of the passenger train is 33 kilometer per hour and express train is 44 kilometer per hour so this is the solution of question number 10 okay so hope you have understood this so now let me show you the last problem how to solve the last problem okay so let us solve question number 11 the sum of the areas of two squares is 468 meter square and difference between their perimeters is 24 meter okay suppose there are two squares there are two squares one is a small square another is a larger square okay so i have considered the east side of the east side of the smaller square be x meter okay so then its perimeter will be its perimeter will be what given by 4 into side that is 4x meter okay and it is given the difference between their perimeters is 24 that means the perimeter of the larger square must be 24 more so its perimeter should be x plus 24 okay so if its perimeter perimeter of the larger square is x plus 24 then let us take 4 common here x plus 6 you will get okay so now we know that 4 into side is the perimeter of a square so each side of the each side of the larger square should be x plus 6 meter okay so then it is given the area of the sum of the areas of these two squares is 468 468 meter square so area of the smaller square is given by side square that is x square and its side is x plus 6 so x plus 6 whole square that must be equal to what 468 okay so now solving this equation we can get the sides of these two squares let me show you how so here you see so now look at this this is the solution of the last i have considered each side of the small smaller square each side of the smaller square is x meter okay and so its perimeter should be 4x because 4 into side gives the perimeter of a square okay so perimeter of the larger square should be 4x plus 24 meter because difference between the perimeters of the two squares is 24 that means larger square must be uh, must be you see perimeter of the larger square must uh, greater than the perimeter of the smaller square by 24 okay now from this perimeter i have expressed this perimeter in this form 4 into side okay 4 into side gives the perimeter of a square so here expressing in this form we have got that x plus 6 must be the side of that larger square okay that is x plus 6 meter okay now so we know side square gives the area of a square so a side of the smaller square is x so its area should be x square and each side of the larger square is x plus 6 so a square of x plus 6 gives the area of the larger square and their sum is given 468 okay sum of the two squares is 468 now simplifying this we have got a quadratic equation that is x square plus 6x minus 2160 okay that is 216 is equal to 0 okay now let us solve this uh, equation so i have done here again factorization method where x is equal to minus 18 which is not acceptable and x is equal to plus 12 okay uh, we have two values of x one is minus 18 and another is plus 12 here minus 18 cannot be uh, taken because negative uh, here you see uh, side of a square or rectangle whatever any quadrilateral cannot be negative okay so i have taken the positive values only then x plus 6 must be equal to 12 plus 6 that is equal to 18 so x was the side of smaller square so each side of the smaller square is 12 meter and x plus 6 which is equal to 18 so larger uh, larger square side of larger square is 18 meter okay that's how we can solve the last question okay so let me clean this piece 